Now let's solve the most challenging case 153. In this video, I showed you a 60 years old male patient with hyperpigmented oval shaped punched out lesion below the right lower lid that was pulling the right lower lid inferiorly causing right lower lid lateral psychiatricial atropion. Now, as soon as I saw the lesion, the old age, the fair skin color, I instantly made my diagnosis of rodent ulcer, basal cell carcinoma of the lower eyelid in my mind because I have seen thousands of such cases previously. His cornea was clear and there was bluish atrophic discoloration of both irises as well. Now here comes the importance of history taking. I asked him that uh, you have come for this lesion and for, for how, from how much time you have got this uh, lesion present and he said that uh, he lives um, in the jungles of South Waziristan and um, he was bitten by a fly which the dermatologist called a sand fly and first there was a small reddish lesion uh, some four to five years back and when I went to the local doctor uh, he gave me antibiotics and painkillers uh, but the lesion didn't respond didn't heal and then he referred uh, me to the dermatologist who diagnosed uh, me as a case of cutaneous leishmaniasis when he found positive LD bodies in the smear. So he was a diagnosed case of facial cutaneous leishmaniasis. Now the challenging part is that he was given multiple injections of sodium stiboglucanate by many dermatologists. Because uh, when he will not respond to the treatment, he will change the, his uh, treating physician. Now, ideally, if uh, it is a lesion of uh, leishmaniasis, and uh, if it is uh, a facial leishmaniasis, uh, you give IV sodium stiboglucanate injections. Um, that told me my dermatologist friend. Uh, because it can cause scarring, but this patient received IV as well as intralesional. So, now comes the element of suspicion. So, many injections intralesional can also cause scarring and that can cause the psychiatricial ectropion. Now, patient was given 40 plus anti leishmania injections and ideally, any resistant lesion should also respond to it but this is a slow growing non-responding lesion that has now developed a scar and involved the atropion of the right lower eyelid maybe the basal cell carcinoma superimposed upon leishmaniasis early on now both conditions can coexist now as he was referred to me for the treatment of atropion so while I have a chance while correcting atropion, I can send some part of the lesion for histopathology to rule out basal cell carcinoma which is also more prevalent in this location in fair skinned sun exposed areas in old age. Till then it's a rare and interesting case of facial cutaneous leishmanians, leishmaniasis involving the right lower lid. So thank you very much uh, all those who part participated um, in my WhatsApp groups uh, to diagnose uh, this. Uh, I am especially thankful to Dr. Maham from AFIO who at the end diagnosed it correctly. But still we can get BCC as well. Wait and watch. Thank you.